for 237 years. America's Army has served the Constitution and proven itself as a good neighbor to the American and global communities. What we're not going to change are those bedrock principles upon which the Army has existed for more than 200 years, honor, duty, service to country. Those are the things that I believe are what the people who join the Army are, are looking to, to have as an integral part of their institution. But clearly, we're coming out of two theaters of war. We have adopted a new strategy, and we're looking forward to building the Army of 2020. And, and that means we're going to have to return to uh, a training bedrock, be preparing for a hybrid threats so that whatever the challenges uh, and the ways ahead may uh, bring to us, we're as we always have been, and the greatest land force the world has ever known. To meet the needs of the nation, our Army must be ready today and trained for tomorrow. Not just abroad, but also at home, ensuring we are meeting the needs of the American people and serving as good stewards of our nation's resources by investing in energy innovation. The strength of the nation is our Army. The Army will never walk away from its basic tenets, which is our moral and ethical values, uh, our profession of arms, uh, which is based on the bedrock of trust, trust between soldiers, uh, trust between soldiers and leaders, and trust between the Army and the American people. But some things will change. The Army's going to get leaner, we're going to become more agile, more adaptive, uh, more integrated and synchronized into the joint force and will continue to develop capabilities that allows us to respond to the complex environment that we face in the future. I am a professional soldier. I will always accomplish my mission and take care of my soldiers. I will always remain tactically and technically proficient. As a soldier, I am the strength of our Army. Well, the Army is more than a job. It's a profession. And so the strength of our Army is the soldiers. At the end of the day, you've got to have people who are committed and of character and also have competence that become soldiers to do what the nation asks to do. So without that person who is a soldier, our Army would not be strong because we're about the people. It is the people from small towns to large cities who volunteer for the U.S. Army and protect our freedoms and its families and communities that are the strength of our soldiers. With wisdom and experience, I am the strength of our soldiers. With dedication, we, the community, support the Army team. With love and sacrifice, I keep my soldiers strong, as the families that are the strength of our soldiers. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. We. We. We, we are Army. Strong. We are Army Strong. Strong.